Hey guys, welcome back to Wishes Rights. Today we're going to be changing out the CIC control ring. And sit down. So thank you very much for tuning in. If you're new here, please do hit like and subscribe. It very much helped me. Um, yeah, like, as I said, I'm gonna change out the CIC control ring. So that's the small chrome bezel bit that goes around the bottom of the controller. Um, I guess over the years, it's got hand cream and sweat and gunk and it's actually sort of delaminated from the actual plastic itself. And it's gone a little bit ripply. I'll show you when I've taken it off. It's actually quite sharp and um, you, you can do yourself a little bit of damage if you're not careful. Um, I think it's been there since I got the car and I never really noticed it or never really took it up with BMW, but the parts like, 25, 30 pounds or something, and it's literally, hopefully, a five minute job. Um, so it's a beautiful day outside. I'm um, gonna go out to the car and um, swap this over. Um, first of all, I'm gonna finish off my tea from my favorite mug, uh, and then we'll get to it. So do yourself a favor, when you're trying to do any of the interior trim or taking bits off the car or anything, um, please don't try and do flat blade screwdrivers and stuff like that. They're, they're too hard, they will scratch. You You can sort of wrap tape and stuff around them, but you're better off getting yourself some proper tools. Um, I got these off um, Amazon, I think it was like 10, 12 pounds or something. Um, they're nice and soft, so they're, they're plastic. They will, they will bend, they will give, um, and they're not going to, you can see I've used these before, so um, they'll stress themselves rather than stress your interior trim. Um, they're really good for popping off um, any sort of fasteners or anything like that. So get yourself some of these. You never know when they're gonna come in handy. Like I said, it's only 10 pounds. So um, that's what we'll be using today to, to get the trim off. And, and hopefully it won't be so much of a pain in the ass like the grill, because that was a nightmare. Um, but it's still there, so that's good. So I believe there's a couple of clips that we need to try and get underneath to bring these up, maybe something more substantial. That's one, so it sounds like you're breaking it, but it's actually just releasing the clips. And then it should just be a matter of just working around. There's another one, and then you can work your way around the edge. So I've never done this before, but there'll only be clips in here. There you go, it's coming up. There should be one around here somewhere as well. Let's try this edge. It comes up. Try not to go where they see there's one just here so it's coming up and it's just here so I'm not sure how to get to that one but we'll um, it seems to be thinner maybe
Oh, come on up. So then the whole unit's off and you can get around to here. So, okay, so now with the whole unit off, we just need to remove the hard drive controller, which we'll just pop these clips. The whole unit will then just push through from the other side and then we will be able to change the control ring. So let me just remove these quickly. So this should just be a matter of just releasing these while we work rounds. And it all slowly, just got patient. There you go, this one gone. Oh, I'll scratch that up, didn't I? It's difficult to do this in the driver's seat. Click, 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 click. come on, there you come. There's two. So you can do this with, there we go, as it comes. Awesome. So now we've got the separate cover, which we'll just slide back on there just to keep it out of the way. Okay. So here's the old one, so you can see the old, I don't know, can you see? So here's the old one, here's the foil that you can see. It's all just completely, it's actually flaking away now, but it causes a nice, so when you actually work in the control room or doing whatever, Sometimes you can catch a hand on it. So basically what you do is you There's clips either side. There's two on this side. There's two on this side uh, You can use a uh, flat blade screwdriver or one of these um, interior tools. Oh that came off really easy I Literally just get behind it push it up Old one comes off Get the new one. Make sure you've got the nice shiny new one Slide that back on Just clicks in place and then it's just a matter of Reassembling, do everything again in reverse. So this just slides back into the housing. So we just nice solid click, plug the connector back in, make sure you put it in the right place, right way round. Connector goes in, I think it's gonna go well around anyway, nice and securely in. And then Job done. Everything is now nice and shiny. It looks lovely. And here's the old one, so you can see the garbage state of the old one, which was causing all sorts of um, problems for my hands sometimes. Did manage to get a few cuts off this, but um, now with with that all complete, all done. Excellent. I hope you found this useful. Um, so the really tricky part is getting this off in the first place because these are the ones that you want to start back here, get something behind, push because these pop up. Um, there's one here, there's one here. You've got a, uh, a connector round about here. There's some small tabs at the front and there's a really one, you know, a really small fragile one here. There's there's one on this side as well, but that's the way you want to be really careful of. So work your way sort of from the back all the way around to the front. And then if this one comes off last, you just need tools underneath, to start sort of leveraging pushing and then they'll, they'll clip out. Um, it's easier to do it on a nice hot day because um, everything's nice and soft and warm and it all sort of just move out of the way but um, yeah what's that maybe a five minute job but I've, I've never touched that before so um, happy days I think that looks fantastic and oh, dear. cool so that's it thank you very much for watching um, hopefully you found that useful um, I struggled to find much information about how to replace these um, it's really straightforward having the right tools helps um, if you are new here please hit like and subscribe um, give us some hash browns in the comments down below um, 
and it'd be great to see some pictures of other people's cars where they're doing this and other work. Uh, I'm looking for a bit of inspiration. So next up, uh, I'm going to be looking at the battery. Um, I had a bit of a flat battery problem. Um, I've got a new battery in order. I've been struggling with the battery for a while. I don't drive the car enough. Um, so we're going to get that swapped out. And also, um, I'm not entirely sure how I'm going to handle the coding. But that's the next episode. So um, cool. Thank you very much once again. I'm out of here. Until the next time. Cheers, guys.